Good evening everyone, how are we doing? Nice to see you. First question, as always, can you hear me? Can't you hear me? And why can't we see a game yet? Because I think my game has crashed. It's a good start. It's always a good start. Um, well, that's a bit embarrassing. <laughs> Thanks, Arx. There we go. This happened the other day too. This happened on. Um, this happened on Monday on Twitch. How very strange. Right. I shall quickly reboot my game, which has very randomly quit on me. I was sitting there for half an hour. Nitro, how's it going? Jason, Jared, Joseph, I'll just talk to you a lot while we kick in. There we go, I don't know what happened there. Very odd. Uh, um, let's jump back in. I woke you up. Oh, sorry, Scorp. My apologies. Tyler, welcome. Finally getting to catch a stream. Great to have you here. Hope you're doing okay. We've got something fun to show you tonight. And literally, I had a different thumbnail for this. And uh, I had to change it with an hour to go. Well, two hours to go because um, uh, the nice guys at Custom Modding sent over the uh, the 8R pack. Totally out of the blue. Wasn't expecting it. So we'll... Um, There we go. Ah, this is looking a bit better now. Yes. No flickering trees. That's good. Hey, Scooter. Nice to see you, mate. Ah, that wasn't an OBS issue. That was, without question, that was a game issue. Um, so I've got this new John Deere planter that we uh, got in the, in the mod hub this week. But uh, custom modding for the win. Indeed, ja uh, Jared. Right, let's just... I'm going to dump this in the shed. Because we're getting some real... Real kit. To help us out tonight. Jason. <laughs> I'm sure there's a load of people watching uh, Elk Mountain who are like... Why has he put Jason in Statham? He looks nothing like him. So, we are going to go and grab... We've got some seed there, but we don't have any fertiliser, so we're going to go and grab that. And we're going to go and grab some, uh, like I said, some pretty severe, decent machinery. We're going to look through all the custom modding uh, options that they sent in the pack. It's already in the mod hub being approved, so um, it will be released for PC. I wouldn't be surprised in the not too in the not-too-distant future. I'm going to head up to the shop. Hello, Joe. Nice to have you here. And once again, my uh, force feedback is not working on my wheel in just the most random fashion. So apologies if I'm about wavy on the roads. I haven't been drinking yet. Tree Dragon, nice to have you back. Nice to have you back indeed. Mock Taylor as well, how are you doing mate? Hello Big Ron, thank you very much. That's very kind of you. And Peter, how are you Peter? Oh God, how did this guy find us? Beat it Jeb, you're not welcome here. That's just role playing. I, everybody's welcome here. Let's load these up with the brilliant auto load trailer. Well, the auto load mod. So we will park this up because I'm going to show you. P. McClanahan, how are you? Peter Rasser, how are you? I am. Do you know what? I'm doing. Re I am. I'm still kind of reeling. If I'm being honest, at the um, the the response to Elk Mountain, just insane. Fifty-three thousand views in the week for the first episode, 
and then the second episode was over 10,000 views in the first in the first 24 hours absolutely nuts anyway we're not here to talk about that tonight we are here to talk about this absolutely stunning set of tractors they are glorious um, so we're going to look through them one by one I, I pulled some out here just to dump on the uh, on the drive here for us to look at I know we're just going to do one vid a week I honestly I, I've, I've, I've kind of dealt uh, keep dialing it up each week so I've got a few more things to add on Jeb look at the look at <laughs> look at the LSWs on this what? We're definitely going to be uh, giving that one a spin. Even in Legacy days, how are you doing? Fusion, hop on the Elk Mountain train, choo choo indeed. I hope so, Andrew. I hope so. Episode three is is going to be a good one. John, how are you doing, mate? Nice to see you. Uh, ep yeah, episode three is uh, is the story really, the really the story really um, takes off. So, um, yeah, stay tuned for that one. Oh, Days has got COVID. No worries. Look after yourself, mate. That's not great. Hey, Bourbon as well. How you doing? Cracky, everybody's in tonight. Nice to see you all. How are you? Right. Custom modding have done it again. I actually ditched all the other ATARs I had in just to show you the pack so here's the pack you've got um 8 rx the 8rt the 8rt 2020 version so there's a 2016 hang on do you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna pull up what uh, nicholas sent me um so i can give you the full lowdown Hey, Trailer Park, how's it going? Oh, by the way, stay tuned. I've got a little vid uh, from Trailer Park to show you guys tomorrow as well, which is uh, a very nice little thing. So, yes, we've got the 2014 versions and we've got the 2020 versions. Um, they've been fully remodeled uh, to an American style. Uh, the doors open, the windows open, realistic starting animations on the monitors, the steering wheel on the lights, the foldable flashes. Uh, we've got row crops, we've got LSWs, front hydraulics, and frontal weights, which are quite nice. I'll show you those in a minute. Uh, option for a uh, three-point hitch to be removed or added. Um, nice little things like protection grills, fender options, beacon options, um, a Gen 4 extended monitor if you want that. Um, really, really nice stuff. So um, we will let's go through them like kind of one by one. So let's start with the 8RX, shall we? Everybody's favourite shed maker. So there we go. Look at the detail on that. It's really, really nicely done. Uh, even put the logos in for the Camso uh, track. So you've got one, you've got a flatter tread there, and then you've got a really chunky tread. Um, so you've got the two options for those. And then you've got different choices. So 16 at the front, 24 at the back, 16 at the front, 30 at the back. 24s all round, 24s and 30s, back to skinnies, back to 16s. Um, fenders, you can pop those on as well. So you've got the fenders at the front. Uh, GPS display monitor, adds that second monitor in the cab there. The front weights, you've got the hydraulics. Ah, oh, Mrs. FSG. Cheers, everybody. Um, rock box, uh, 1800 kilos, 13, 800, 300, just the bracket if you want the bracket, and back to nothing. <laughs> Jeb, don't trust that Daryl guy. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to trust him on the trust you, buddy. Uh, yeah, really, the detail on the tracks is fab. Uh, three point hitch at the back so you can have that or not have that look at the detail back here by the way look at look at the rivets and the pipe work stunning stuff evening elite how you doing cheers bourbon oh nick mr stegman 
has joined again. Look and again, look around the lights and stuff. Just the, the details, fantastic. Uh, engine setups. We've got the uh, what we rock in there. We are running the 357 horsepower version, and we've got 388 with power shift and variable, 420 variable in fact power shift and 458 power shift. So lots of options there as well. Um, what else have we got? Just GPS and headland management and uh, number plates. So really, really nicely done. I mean, it's it's just that kind of got that air of custom modding quality about it, hasn't it? So that is the 8RX. The 8RT, this is the 2014 version. So the difference really here is the, the cab. It's a lot more rounded around the top of the cab there. If you go to the 20. 20 version you can see it's a lot more kind of a lot more angular the cab a lot more uh and the, the the lights are different and stuff like that so it's um ever so slightly different but some nice options on this so let's just jump in here i think we'll cover both of them off with the one tractor other than the cab so all the front weight stuff that we just talked about there we go front bracket standard wheels um you've got different widths here so we've got only got to Look at the different hatchings on the uh, they're high roading they're called. So it's three different, four different variants on them, and then the positive drive versions with different treads on them. So they're quite nice. Um, 16, 30, 25, 24, 18. Back to 16 frame weights. Now look at this just on here. So as well as having front weights, you can add on frame weights. Is that? Jonathan Dubois in the here he is Jonathan hello sir how are you doing thank you very very much for the truck and uh, I did a little demo the other night I, sh I actually haven't got it loaded in shame on me I would have shown everybody that as well but uh, uh, Jonathan's tweaked his truck and it will be coming out soon his brilliant Ford still for my money the best uh, best truck in FS22 um what are we doing? Um, frame weights. Look, if I pop on frame weights, you get one set there. Let's sit behind the frame for a little bit of extra weight. It's just a nice little touch, isn't it? Um, your Starfire receiver. I don't even know where that. Why is that not showing up? That's interesting. For four grand, I would want that to show up. I have to report that back to them. Hundred year de decals, beacon lights. Uh, front loader attachment on an 8RT, I never would. And then we've got 376 horsepower, 394, 420 horsepower, that's, and back to 376, so that's your three options there. Uh, and Gen 4 monitors as per before. So very nice. Now I wonder if the Starfire receiver shows up on this one. There is no, and yes, it's not showing, but I wonder if it's... Interesting. I'll work that one out. See you later, Jeb. I'll be checking on you. I'll be spying on you later in the week. Um, and the 8R. Let's go for the 8R. Let's go for the 2020 version. Again, just like the cabs on these. Um, so you've got loads of Firestone options here. Front weights as before. Hydraulics. Rock box. Uh, the grill at the front there is quite nice. And then 1100, 750, 450, 250, and the weight holder. Um, Firestone wheels, you've got skinnies with weights, jewels at the back, jewels with weights, jewels with different weights. They're quite nice, the heavier weights. Uh, front and rears with weights, with both sets of weights. Triples at the back. Ooh, that's a good point, Dazed. Actually, I didn't think about that. Good work. Nitro Scott with a £20 super chat. You are a gent. Thank you, sir. Much appreciated. That's uh, that's very generous of you. Thank you, thank you. Uh, with weights. Uh, trips with weights again. 72-inch singles. Now, I like this in a minute. Look at this space here. Jewels at the back. Jewels all around. Look at that. 
That's pretty cool, isn't it? Um, T plus display monitor, fenders, pop those on. I think I've finished the track. Oh no, we've got 1990s as well. Go ahead, it's pushed, pushed those out. So 90s, 90s with weights at the back, and back to the 30s. Three point hitch as before. What have we got in terms of horsepower? 326, uh, both uh, variable and power shift. 357, 388, 420, 458, just in power shift. Uh, turn GPS on. There you go. That was our issue before, wasn't it? Um, and interestingly, Starfire receiver is on all the time with this one, so we'll go back and check that another one. Um, oh, and then we go to Goodyear for the Chonky Boys. I <laughs> know, right? Config Heavy. So we've got 1100s, 45R46s with weights. And I don't, I don't, I can't really tell what the difference is. So this is 45R46s again, 1100s. But they're chunkier. But I'm not complaining because they look the absolute business. And look at that back end. Look at the detail. So nice. So nice. So, uh, yes, big fan, big fan. Right, let's just go and check what happens with the Starfire receiver. No, I can't find it. What was it on? Is it on the oh, it's on the 2019 versions. The other ones show up already, so uh, we'll say yes, and we will turn on GPS. Oh no, Starfire receiver doesn't seem to be. Might have to feed that back to them. Is a demo, I suppose. Um, but there we go. The Frijol, uh, no elk mountain. No, we're not doing elk mountain. Um, there has been a an exec decision. In fact, a lot of people have said, please, please, please don't do lives on El Elk Mountain with the series because it's going to lose the, the storyline. Because I end up chatting to you guys and uh, I think we're going to try and keep this story as pure as we can with that stuff. So, uh, no. And I also want to kind of keep people... Uh, I want to keep people waiting. I want to kind of... I don't want to overdo it. I might add extra episodes in at some point, but... Um, Right now, just at the start, I want I want to kind of leave people wanting more, right? Chinook, how's it going, mate? So there we go. In the cab, a couple of nice screens there. Active run page and a GPS page. And the nice uh, display there. There's also a lot of other people doing Elm Creek, so uh, uh, Elk Mountain, sorry. So uh, I don't want to kind of overdo it, but I have to. I have to. Um, I have to confess that it's it's difficult. I haven't got another series yet. What I need is, I need is uh, another nice map to come out, don't we? Um, I thought we'd put the Kinsey on this with the Chunkies. Uh, we'll come back for that. Uh, that other ATAR there with the doubles on in a little while because I think we'll use that one with the planter but we've got a couple of fields we need to finish off here two episodes per week do you know how long it takes I spent um, about three hours today doing visuals for it so I knocked together some uh, some stuff to help the story along and uh, set up kind of stuff prepped for the next episode. Great fun. Having a right, I've got six episodes written. So we're on episode two, episode three on Sunday. Um, but yeah, there might be weeks when I do two episodes. Definitely. Do you know how long you have to? <laughs> Every Sunday? It's like um, it's like a good series on Netflix. You hold off and binge watch it, or you have to wait each week. 
We are loving these tyres. Look at them, they are epic. So over in the back field, remember the last episode we had the two fields that we'd um Yes, I can create fields with this. Good. Um, we had the two fields that we'd uh, split together in the in the last in the fact it was the last live last Wednesday, wasn't it? Uh, well, one is half done. As you can see, the old uh, forty series is there. Now uh, we've got to finish that field off, and we've got uh, the other one to cut. So we're going to do it in double quick time with this with this beauty. Get rid of this skinny old machine and get some proper meat in here now. Imagine how comfortable this would be to drive. I think you can adjust the... What am I doing there? Oh, that's my doors. I'm sure one of these is... Yeah, there you go. You can use the... It's kind of got air raising suspension at the front. Oh, I need to update my course play. I want that to be a global setting. Michael Trinity, how are you doing? Nice to see you. Let's just run down here. There's some gaps down here that have been left. And then we'll move him out of the way. Uh, Titus, they are indeed... All of these tractors are coming to console, so... Good old custom modding. Looking after the console players as well. There we go. I'm going to have a different texture, but I'm okay with that. that bit of grass. I don't know why I didn't pick those up, but don't know. Oh, here's the rain. No, <laughs> it is indeed a fusion. It is indeed, mate. So. Oh, thunderstorms and everything. Course play bugging out for you on your server. I think um, some of the guys have got it running on one of our servers with no hassles. Just check you've got the latest version. Andrew. Twenty-five Bloodfang. How many tanks is this? Have I ever farmed in real life? I have. I grew up on a farm. So, uh, yes, I used to... Uh, I used to drive tractors at harvest and um, also um, looked after the kind of the cows, the animal side of the farm as well. I used to get up every weekend and milk cows. That's how I got my pocket money when I was like 13. And it was always a treat when you got the uh, you got to take the uh, scraper tractor for a spin. Which was an old Ford 3000. Simulation Farmer, what have you missed? You've missed a full run through of custom modding's um, 8R John Deere series. Oh, trays are getting a bit trigger happy. Poor Master Sounds just said good evening and got uh, got booted. 
Don't worry, simulation, we're going to uh, go through them again. Trace, Trace being ruthless tonight. Right, I was going to leave that, but I'm going to park it here. I've been meaning to reinstall. I, for some reason, I, I, I upgraded cams and lost the 8K textures because. Um, oh, another achievement unlocked. That's about three I've unlocked this week. Simulation Farmer every Sunday, uh, 8 p.m. UK time. So, middle of the day for you guys over in the States. Um, I know people are, people are desperate for more, but I'm kind of tempering the enthusiasm. Predominantly because I'll run out of story. <laughs> or energy, because they take a while to put together. But um, it's quite a nice, though. It's like little things, like the, uh, the recap from the episode before. I've already done that. Um, which is quite, uh, which is quite good fun. So, uh, oh my goodness, have I left that on, uh... No, that's okay. Right, let's go back to... I'm going to tab through every vehicle. Right, I'm not going to do that, I'll do it through the map. Trey, what are you doing? Um, where is my field with my tractor? And there is. Right, hold on a second. Just give me a little sec here. Something strange going on with Trey. I'm just going to remove his uh, permissions. To the work out what's going on here. He's pocket banning. <laughs> he's banned Bourbon. He's hidden Brian. Poor master sounds. <laughs> Trey's, a, Trey's gone maverick. I thought you'd been hacked, Trey. I thought we just had a random going through and just getting rid of... Uh, getting rid of people. Okay, uh, let's, let's fire up some GPS, uh, auto with it, no offset. Evening, sir. How's it going, man? Nice to see you. <laughs> oh dear, Trey, that was genius. Alicia, Alicia's account is safe. Won't take us long, we'll power through this now. We've got double the width of the equipment. What we'll do is we'll... Uh, we've got this field and one next to it to do. We'll maybe take a break between the two. We'll do a, do a bit of planting. How are we sowing? We are almost sowing. Pleasant.
F Games, good evening, how are you doing? Spraying an eye out on hydrus. Yeah, that is the, this is the stock in-game Kinsey. No, it's not a roller, it's uh, um It's a, it's a, it's a thing. It's a disc arrow. I tell you, you need some good chunky power to pull this. It's a weighty, uh, it's a weighty implement. They're crazy. The, uh, the power requirements for some of the disc arrows is, uh, is nuts. Like 615, uh, horsepower for the big Kinsey even the John Deere one which I was gonna put on everyone's loving the chunky tires aren't they everybody's loving the chunky tires it's a thing that does a thing yeah that sounds about right Mactil Uh, I haven't started using the REA mods, no. I will have a play with them at some point, I just haven't had a chance to have a look at them yet. I did enjoy them in, uh, in 19. Imagine what they weigh, those tyres. Insane. Massey, how's it going? Nice to see you again. Oh, sorry, music. Calmston, 8K textures on Calmston, like, are beautiful. They totally change up that map, but some of them, some of the 8K textures work on Seasons as well. They change the colours of the trees and Seasons, and I think it's because you put them into the base game rather than just into the map. I think they might change on other maps too, but I'm not sure. Massey Powerly, do I have a video to use Courseplay? I don't yet, because I am waiting for the uh, development cycle of Courseplay to settle down. I know a few other people did Courseplay um, vids earlier on, but, but in reality they were they were changing it so much that they were virtually out of date within a week. I mean, the principles still work. You could still probably, I, I reckon, do the majority of things looking at those vids, but I just thought I'd, I would hold off for both that and... Um, auto drive to do well to do a, a combined auto drive and, and course play video together I did do an auto drive tutorial which I do need to follow up with a second version as well so busy so busy we need the Titan LSW tires in FS22 I love the squat on the tires in 22 I think it's a lot more obvious. It's, it's much nicer, in my opinion. Good evening, Oliver. How are you doing? It's quite nice with that... Um, that rain pitter pattering. I do have a confession that I did sit in my office. I had to go to the office today. It was quite quiet. Not many people in. Um, but I missed Argy's stream because I couldn't really get away with watching uh, YouTube for two <laughs> two hours when I should have been working. But um, I did uh, I did do a bit of creative work in Photoshop. Passed it off as a work project. Is there a way where you can change the gears from power shift from other gears? You can go and switch it to manual gearbox in your settings. I know, I, I, the autumnal trees are too bright, in my opinion. I don't necessarily like them. 
When are my design services going live? <laughs> They're on the list, Fusion. I'm trying. I'm trying. The, the website, I literally haven't had a chance to look at the website since Elk Mountain started. Because I keep on having ideas and expanding the storyline. But soon. Trademark. Anything is a work project as long as you're not... <laughs> Something like that. I'm not sure I could get away with... Uh, modding a tractor. On my screen. Uh, Andrew, yes. Control V. Control V um, to raise and lower and control B to... So basically whatever you do individual implement to start them. You just press control with it and it'll do both at the same time. Research, yeah. I've already got them to pay for a blender course. Which is currently on the list of things that I don't have time to do. I uh, want one of those screen covers so nobody can see. It's funny, it's my secret. Nobody at work, nobody at work knows. I haven't fessed up yet. Maybe when I get to 50k I'll be like, So I do this in my spare time now. See what they say. There you go, Scooter. It's important that you keep up your uh, your skill set. Sprue, hello, how you doing? Did I sort out the issue with the trailer? I did indeed. Well, when I say I did, Legacy gave me a little bit of a hand. There was a missing uh, there was a missing node. So the fill, the fill, the unload point was wasn't pointing at any node, so it couldn't um, it couldn't make a decision on uh, what it was going to use to fill it. So it was literally, I mean, a ten second fix. But it was one of those ones um, that, un unless you were looking for it, you wouldn't know. Have I cleaned up the the? Uh, please tell me that's his bales. <laughs> Hugh Davis, how you doing? Nice to see you. Am I going to get this edge? I think that uh, cedar's a direct drill, isn't it? So. If I miss a few bits, I'm okay with that. Yeah, no, I appreciate it, Legacy. Thank you very much for that, mate. Sprue and Glue, thank you for the sub, my friend. Much appreciated. Oh yeah, please hit the like button, guys. It does help the channel. It does help people get to see the channel, if you think it's worth seeing. Um... Please hit that like button. Let's see if we can get down this edge without an overlap. No, we can't. So we're going to just drive this one manually. Until we get a little bit further down. Smitty, how are you doing? Nice to see you. This is a slightly smaller field, so it shouldn't take too long. I know, it's like, it's like Taz's weekly weekly rallying call, isn't it? I'm amazed actually on uh, Elk Mountain how, how much interest there is in the oil pump. Um, I've got loads of questions about that. Just 
going to be a tight corner down here. Let's see if we can do this with create fields on without causing all manner of issues. No, oh, not bad. Not bad. I'll take that. We certainly didn't have Ferrari tractors on my farm. We were just Ford. Black gold indeed, Peter. Especially in the last few weeks, right? No, it doesn't animate Scooter. And if you could uh, make it animate, you'd be a very popular man. It's from um, Jiggin for Walleye. Google his it's his itch. In fact, I've put it I put it in a few of the comments in the in the vid. Actually, there's so many people are asking. Hello, mustard. How are you doing, mate? Nice to see you. And tired geek as well. Yeah, it's good. There's quite a few little errors in it. It's not the tidiest mods in the world, but they work well and he's covering all the bases in terms of um, propane and and oil and anhydrous and things like that so it's good from that perspective felt mountain will turn into Beverly Hillbillies <laughs> ah greystones are nice it's still I still enjoy it it's just a little bit different I went and filled up my um, car the other day, and it was, I've got a, I don't know how big my tank is actually, well I should be able to work it out, shouldn't I? It was £1.79 for diesel. So what's that, and I don't know what the US exchange is, well over, well over two bucks a, a litre. Is that right, Dazed? Don't be confused, Andrew. It isn't an FS22 version of Clarkson's Farm. You've just called it Clarkson's Farm. Five dollars a gallon. How many litres in a gallon? Yeah, that would that would be about right, Serge. You're about the same, then, with the euro UK, with the euro pound exchange rate. That that works out pretty. Clarkson US, yeah, <laughs> changed it. I think a lot of people were like, "This isn't Clarkson's farm. How dare you use the name?" Well, there you go. Then, you boys are getting a lot cheaper in the US still than uh, we're getting in Europe. Meal, that's high. Our tax on our fuel's crazy. Oh, Israel, don't rub it in, mate. <laughs> Yeah, it was over 90, 90 pounds UK to fill my truck. Crazy. Hello, Ozzy. Nice to see you, mate. How's things? I'm just doing laps of the field here. Don't actually need my GPS on. 
towards it on here. But my new car comes in two weeks and that's a hybrid. So I'm ditched diesel, I'm going to petrol. Like people are just playing the game now, right? They're just throwing the prices up and blaming Oh, it's the war or it's post COVID production levels are still off, but you know, you I wouldn't be surprised if half of them are just seeing it as an opportunity to fleece the public. Call me a cynic if you want. Evening Wayland, how you doing mate? Yeah, that always happens, Matthew. It's amazing how we're, they put them up super quick when the oil price goes up, but it takes an age for them to come back down. Why not go full electric? Um, do too many long drives, Andrew. Um, so I was, I was, I thought we'll we'll dip our toe in the water. Plus, you can't get a full electric uh, uh, Land Rover yet. They only do hybrids. I also don't think, personally, I don't think, um, I've said this before, I don't think uh, electric's the future. I think something else is going to come along sooner rather than later. The cost, the sheer cost, um, and environmentally, batteries are not environmental. The production or the disposal of batteries is incredibly horrible on the environment. I think, honestly, I think it's going to be like, I liken it to going from cassette tapes to CDs for music. And they lasted, what, 15 years? and then they were superseded by digital music. So I guarantee you, I reckon in another 15, 20 years, hydro exactly, Jared, hydrogen fuel cells or a variant of that will uh, come along. If they can master the, the safety side of that. I know JCB are doing the hydrogen thing with... Uh, um, with the fast tracks. Yeah, exactly, Days. I think people think that they are tied to a system then, don't they? They don't have that flexibility. I mean, I'm biased. Edinburgh's got the best bus service I've ever seen anywhere. Um, I, read, uh, I read somewhere a while back, actually, that... that um, like a Tesla or a Prius or any any fully electric car. Didn't didn't talk about hybrids actually, but uh, the 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 energy cost to dispose of the batteries in a safe and environmental way costs uh, in energy terms the same as running a like a big V6 engine for twenty years in something like a big heavy truck, like a Land Rover, like a Range Rover or something like that. So it's all, it's all, um, it suits the agenda, I think, a lot of the time. But actually, if you if you dig under the surface, it's not as uh, it's not as rosy as uh, it's not as rosy as it maybe looks on the outside. Yeah, same making them as well, Peter. Exactly. So at both ends of the scale, you're running a car that actually, when it's running, is probably a lot more. Uh, gentle on the environment but either end of that you're absolutely hammering things I know Joe and, and it furs up all the stuff in them there was a brilliant meme the other day um, so it, it had Greta on one bit saying we must all drive electric cars straight away and then the bottom half was this young kid in obviously some uh, far-flung country um, chipping away at a, a rock wall saying we're mining your cobalt as fast as we can Mrs Greta <laughs> so it's like yeah where's where's all the where's are all the minerals for the batteries coming from 
I guarantee you those guys aren't making much money. So we put in Tesla power walls. I used to work, Radisson uh, was one of our big clients in my old uh, agency. Uh, we had the global account for Radisson Hotels and they launched a new hotel brand called Radisson Red. Uh, and they put, and it was like a young, funky millennials hotel. And they put uh, Tesla power walls in the hotels. Um, and they were very cool, actually. Elon, Elon is like a Bond villain, but man, he's clever. He's a visionary. Yeah, sorry, Arx, we've gone all, uh, We've got an old uh, debate. It's interesting. Um, my work at the moment—they've just re they've ripped out all of these. Used to have multi-story car parks in there. They've ripped them all out, and they're all surface-level car parks now. And every single parking spot has got an electric charger in it. Every single one. It's the first time I've seen it. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, Elon's like... Uh, Elon's like... Um, the man of the moment at the moment, isn't he? I'm more impressed with what he's doing in space than, than the car stuff, to be honest. But even the car stuff's visionary, right? He's a really good... Uh, he's actually a really good um, example of brilliant branding as well. He's created, he's created a scenario where people are desperate to go and work for Tesla because they, there's a kind of belief that he's basically trying to change the world. Which he kind of is. But he's barking. Absolutely crackers. The car park in Liverpool, <laughs> Liverpool one. There's four chargers per level, and I bet you, Peter, give it six months, three of that, four of them will have been trashed by youths, won't they? Yeah, the rocket stuff for me is just phenomenal. He managed to reverse park a rocket back on the Earth after sending somebody into space. What? I mean, what is that all about? Utter genius. That's on my bucket list. Things that I want to do before I die is go and see a SpaceX rocket land back. Oh, you've got to be insane to be... To be a genius, you've got to be a nutter. Narcissists and psychopaths. Every single CEO in the world is either a narcissist or a psychopath. Right, let's park this up, shall we? And we will go and get... The other eight are with the jewelies. Orbit the Earth. I think you're right, Ugs. Yeah. That would have been my thing. If somebody said to me, pick one thing that you could do in your lifetime, it would have been go up in a shuttle. Just the thought of sitting on that when it took off. Obviously, in hindsight, I'd like to make sure I picked one that wasn't going to go boom, but... Give him credit for what his engineers did. He d but he had the vision. So, Toby, you can't... You can't... It's like saying... Um, like, there's a story about Steve Jobs with the I iPhone. Like it or loathe it, it's, it changed the face of mobile phones 
he was the guy that had the vision to go to his engineers and there's a brilliant story in his autobiography about his engineers going you can't do that you can't do that and he's like no 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 I'm, that's not what I'm asking you to do I'm asking you to find a way to do it and he basically sat on them until they worked out a way to do it and I think that's it's the visionary element of it it's like Elon going no we're going to fly it back down to earth we're going to do a three point turn and we're going to land it on a platform I'm guaranteed that the engineers would have gone oh no you know you can't do that and he'd go well find a way of doing it there we go let's get this so I agree engineers are incredibly intelligent people but they need they need direction a lot of the time don't they Right, um Don't remember what my unload button is. There we go, you. Left side. Um oh, I forgot my buttons unload, there we go, I. So many buttons to remember. It's the same with the same with football teams. It's the same with well-run companies. It's all the same. You can say, "Oh well, you can have Ronaldo and Messi in your team, but they might not win you the game if you haven't got a good manager." <laughs> um, right, that's back. That's back. Let's go and get our tractor now. It's a very grown-up and sensible conversation we're having here, isn't it? Where could you get other good PC mods for FS22 other than the Farm Simulator page? Um, go and do your research, Eduardo, on... Um, follow follow all the good modders on Facebook. Go and check all the... Um, fo follow their pages, learn who the good modders are, and uh, you can get them direct from them. Another place to get them is uh, Simply Safe Mods, and there's Farming Simulator Mods and Links Discord as well, which is run by some of the guys on here. I, I agree with you, Toby. There's always superstars, right? It's always the guy that scores the goal or or throws the pass that uh, you know the running back picks up and catches. But it's you know what it's. They have to carry. They have to carry the the team a lot as well, don't they? Like Man U, Ronaldo on Wednesday for Man U. Um, unbelievable! Just single-handedly won the game. There you go. There's the three plant set up. Nice. An autoload mod that can pick up bags? Yes indeed, Justin. And pallets and anything you want. Hey, off Fusion. Thanks for hanging out, mate. We'll catch you later. Yeah, man, you lost the... Man, you suck. I am not a fan of Manchester United. In that, in that classic football... I have no rational argument for why I don't like them, other than they just won everything as I grew up, so... And I grew up in between Manchester and Liverpool, so you picked one or the other. And I picked Newcastle United, who were in the second division at the time. Emil, Sunday night we will have the next episode of uh, the Wyoming series. Got a bit of recording to do first, and a bit of storytelling to do, adding a few new elements in this week. Um, what am I doing here? Oh, look at that, you can attach it, that's... Uh, it's a bit cheaty, but I like it. Uh, 
Uh, Justin, do I still play Nomad? Yes, indeed. We had an episode last night. Oh, nice animation on that, isn't it? Quite like that. I just have to go along and fill each one of those up individually. How annoying would that be? Thank you, Emil. I appreciate the sub. Yeah, it's a phenomenal map, right? It really is. Let me just check. Um, fully seeded up. Let's get a bag of fertilizer as well. Totally different skunk. I just thought I'd try something. In fact, I didn't even try it properly with... Okay. Probably need to just take it easy there. Um, yeah, no, even the first episode... I wasn't really pushing it, and then the response was, like, overwhelming, to be honest. I think I need a weight on the back of this, don't I? Fertilizer's heavy, it would appear. This is going to be fun, loading this in. I might just have to hit the R button when I'm next to it with this. So I pushed it, I pushed it a bit, I pushed it a bit harder in the second episode and now I've got my confidence up and I'm going to go for it in the third episode. Hmm. Okay. I have to risk it and lift it up. I was teaching people how to steal gold. Yeah. It's a it was a grey area, I'm not gonna lie. There's a few question marks over my behaviour. I'm not proud of myself. Is that even empty? I just caused complete carnage now. There we go. A little bit of a helping hand. Deal more gold. Not allowed to. It was almost a good idea, but that's a little bit on the light side for what we needed there, isn't it? Let's see how much is in here. Oh, why am I running still? No, let's put another bag in, shall we? I think I might just reverse up to it this time. See if there's a enough of a load point for me to do that. Looks like there is. But not enough to fill up. That's annoying. Right, look away, people. Margaret's watching. Pretend this is how you do it. Nope, Jeb's back. It's almost as if he's watching with his alter ego, and then when I say something about it, he logs into his other account. Most don't plant in the rain. Supplies the game lets you plant in the rain. But yeah, you can't harvest in the rain. Yeah, that's a good point, actually. Um... I may actually skip forward a little bit 
for that very reason. May not let me actually. Shall we find out? No, it is going to let me. Well, I'm going to do it. We're here now. Good evening, William. How's it going? Nice to see you. Let's get the edge done. Yeah, it doesn't kind of quite match, does it? Just for baby corn. That button on my hat is still a problem. I'm going to have to pull it off, actually. First world problems, right? Toby, I don't have seasons on for uh, for the the very thing that I can't sit and um, it doesn't make for good viewing on a, a live stream if you're like, well, I've got nothing to do now because of the time of year, so I'm just I'm just running a year-round farm. Hey, Kevin, nice to see you. How are you? I wonder if I actually even... Well, it's, it's putting an application of fertiliser on, so it must be 50% already. Yeah, it is South America. It's Greystone, South America. We could skip forward a bit, actually. See if we can stop this rain. It's because it's a bit drich. There you go, it's a good Scottish word for you. I'm going to put corn in all three of these fields, I think. Again, with the no uh, force feedback, I've got a very... My wheels just got no uh, centering on it at all which is very annoying Jean Lagasse welcome sir how are you doing how is Canada today yeah I saw that big Ron but it also may not be out for a few months um, I think he's going to do some quite fundamental tweaks I'm wondering if he's going to actually add down hydrocin um, and kind of prep it for um, prep it for precision farming coming. I'm just going to have to live with the version I've got now. I'm 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 in too deep. I'm committed. Hey, Mr. Scott George, how are you, buddy? How's things? go. Do a second headland, I think. It's quite narrow down here. I like this planter, though. It's nice. I am a fan. I'm waiting for somebody to do a uh, multi-terrain angle on a map as well. I've not seen that yet. Just needs another... another set of angles adding, doesn't it?
we'll roll this afterwards as well. We'll roll these stones in. Oh, did you scratch? Nice. Actually, scratch. I need to to uh, point out on this save, my um, my grain bins have stopped working. They were fine, and now I can't get the. Oh, now I can't get anything out of them. I think it must be a mod clash, because I've not I've not changed anything. I must have just added another mod. In. What's the difference between rolling and stone picker? If you um, you can roll the small stones, Justin, uh, but the larger stones you have to pick up. So as long as you know they're honest, these are all the small stones. So uh, you just roll them back in, and you get your yield bonus. Kevin Mole, that is very very kind of you to say. I'm glad you're enjoying the enjoying the vids. I appreciate that a lot. Uh, haven't tried it yet, Music Man, but I'm pretty sure you can. It all depends on... Um, one of the things it did always throw out was things like if you had a... If you had a, uh, a silo full of silage or something, you can't shift over the, the volume of the silage. I will do, mate, yeah. No, it just, like, I can't open the lid. Uh, the auger doesn't work. The pop-up telling me how much is in the in the bin has stopped but I do think I'm running quite a lot of scripted mods so yeah it could well be that we've got a little uh, little conflict in there somewhere I basically need to start the game with I need to do that thing where you switch all the mods off except yours check it works and if it does start adding the mods back in one by one until you find the one that's thrown it out take it easy days hope you feel better soon mate stay healthy I've got to say, I had a whole heap of fun on uh, Monday. So Monday night, for you guys that don't know, I stream on Twitch. And it's just a very chilled out, um, like, warts and all. I don't I don't really do what I'm doing on this stream uh, there. Uh, so we were editing mods and we were testing stuff for future episodes of Elk Mountain and, and uh, just troubleshooting stuff and... Um, we had uh, Legion was in and Legacy and uh, a few of the other guys just giving mod <laughs> tips. They're like backseat modding. I was driving and they were telling me what to do. It was quite good fun. Yeah, and the conversation's a little bit more chillaxed as well. Turns out you're all potty brained. Hey, Mally, how you doing? Uh, I think we plank 20 inch in the UK, Toby, most of the time. Yeah, let me, let me, uh, I haven't got any contracts, I haven't got any contract ones in. Um, but yeah, you know, look, if I go up here, my little pop-up telling me that, uh, what I've got, I know I've got 175,000 litres of oats in here. But, uh, look, I can't open the, um open the lid either it's not even coming up in the control so yeah something's something's clashing with it somewhere we'll work it out though backseat modding I don't know who did this mod actually. I think it might be um, I think it might be some of the Brazilian or South American modding guys that have done this actually. Might it?
Yeah, this is a problem, see, with... Um, without multi-terrain at the moment. You see this, where it uh, it zigzags, but you can't work out. You're just at the wrong angle where it, it zigzags. Because it can't work out. You're right on the point of where it where it wants to change direction, but can't quite work it out. Nitro Dad! Excellent, mate. Glad to hear it. I take it the same principles as 19 in terms of adding it in, is it? Or have you got to do things a little bit differently? is what I like to hear. Oh, we're fairly chewing through this corn seed. A bit more in ID 3D, okay. Hey Andy, how's it going mate? Nice to see you. Let's speed the time up a little bit, see if we can get rid of this rain, shall we? See that was gonna go dark. <laughs> It's going to stop soon. Or it's going to go dark. It's getting dark very quickly. I have to fire the lights on at this rate. Look at that. It's six o'clock at night and we're, uh, we're working in the dark. Now I can't see what I've planted and what I haven't. And it's still raining. Hey, we've got... <laughs> we have got ourselves a little spammer. He had to time him out, Args. I was gonna, I was gonna ask him how his mum was. Now the only thing is, actually, Bill M in Alberta. Probably my son upstairs. <laughs> Any recent news on potato seed mod? Yes, Andy, it failed on some textures, I think. Uh, Days were saying before. So he'd updated them, and I think it failed again, but he was using base game textures, so he went back to them and was like, whatever, guys. 
I'm not changing it again. If you're not happy, you can release it for PC and not for console. These bits done. Don't drink beer on a stream, by the way. I'm getting very windy. Oh, it's definitely morning for Args. Okay, so I was saying the other day that it's actually a lot better in 22 with um, the better lighting mod, but actually for planting it's not that easy because the textures are very similar. Scrap a little bit in the corner and then I will skip forward I think to tomorrow. Might just be the clouds actually. I wonder if I get to five PM will it? Yeah there you go. Look at that sky. It's almost like the stones reflect too much, don't they? Right, here we go. I'm going to do this. Yes, 8am. Oh, brilliant. Okay, it stopped. I was like, no, it's not going to snow. Okay. <laughs> See what uh, speed my crops are growing at, because that was rapid, wasn't it? Ah, it's not. It's because... Um, I'm on one day seasons. Oh well, we're going to have crops growing at two different times now. We'll just have to suck it up. Schoolboy error on my part, that. Hey Derek, how you doing mate? Thank you for the uh, email this week. I appreciate it. What am I drinking? I don't know. I think it's uh, I think it's um, Stuart's Brewings. Based on the taste of it. I didn't see the can. It was uh, lovingly delivered by Mrs. FSG, so... FS22 Big Boss Diesel Club. Thank you very much, mate. I appreciate it. Exactly, John. There's no question of not seeing what we've already planted. Get this little strip here. We should be able to resolve this. Oh, we're getting a nice pile of... Uh, it is cloudy. I think it might be a, a little wheat... A little bit wheaty number. It does, Scorp. You're right. Absolutely. Any news on the next game update, FSG? No, Mark, nothing at all, actually. Um, I think Precision Farming, we're going to see end of April. Excited to see what additions they've put into that. We were kind of hoping for additional uh, fertiliser types and things like that. I'm not sure we're going to see them. But maybe... I'm kind of optimistic that somebody like like the guys at JS Mapping did in 19, somebody's going to take it and mod it to add different stuff. I know MRG's looking at different stuff for uh, his map and if he can make it work with uh, with precision, with a little bit of editing. So that'll be interesting. Just some strict. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, she's going for the life insurance. Nice, Derek. Can't be a good IPA. Well, this looks pretty ugly, doesn't it? Half... Half sewn, half... Uh, half growing already. This tractor is lovely, though. A little stutter there as you get into the car. That, they've still not managed to resolve that issue, have they? 100% from... Uh, there's a little bit of an FPS issue. It's almost like it, the game has to play catch-up when it... Um, when you jump into cab. Oh, there's a big rut in the ground. I haven't seen that. Missed that when I was uh, terra farming. That's worked out. Oh, my missus loves it, Ace. She gets a pick of uh, she gets a pick of Netflix. I don't think anybody put you in time out, Big Boss. Not not showing up on my screen anyway. Unless it was Trey. Who tends to do that quite often. Yeah, music, I think it's a game issue. It's definitely a game issue. It's a known issue. <laughs> it's not pretty, but it'll do. It will do. We're replanting half of it. How are we doing for seed, actually? Oh, Nightbot may have banned you. Nightbot can be a little bit temperamental sometimes. Very moody. Like a teenager. Oh, we have time, actually. Cracky. It's amazing when you look down and it's been an hour and a half since you started and it feels like about 30 minutes. Now, can we, do you reckon, are we going to get this field finished before we need a refill? I don't think so. 16%. I think we're pushing our luck, to be honest. Definitely not. We're dropping too quick. Only 150 litres left. I should toy with sticking the save game for this map and the list of the mods on it. If anybody's interested. Because it's been quite it's quite different now to uh, the base game. Or the base map. The changes I've made to it. Take care Andrew, thanks for hanging out mate. Nice to see you. So Elk Mountain. Let's talk about Elk Mountain. I'd love to know people's uh, views on where the story's going to go. 
because I've obviously written a few episodes and I've got a longer term bullet pointed story but I have to say some of the comments this week have made me go okay maybe I'll tweak that a little bit and maybe I'll change this a little bit Scott you're done very good Where would a stoned Canadian get yellow orchid? Uh, if you Google, in fact, Scooter's in the chat still, I think. Scooter's workbench, he uh, converted that for FS22. So you should be able to find it on his... should be able to find it on his Facebook page. Fat Rat! How are you doing, man? Nice to see you. It has been a while. Hope you're doing okay. Oh, look, it's going to snow soon. Looking at that weather. You're uh, the Westfield auger, mate. Uh, Timothy Vipan, uh, when am I making more case? Probably, ca case is probably not all high unless I've kind of covered it off with the GPS and the uh, and the combine screen. There's maybe an active run screen in there somewhere as well, like an, an all-encompassing one. But next one's probably going to be a class combine one. 20 litres. I have got one, two, three four rows still to go so I think I might might get away with this one well if I lower it that early I deserve to run out of seed don't I right we'll go top up now seven litres left we did alright Turn the lines off while we're... Oh! Crashing custom modding's loaned tractors. Sorry! I am going to become a, an oil baron and rip everyone off for fuel prices and become president. I like it. <laughs> Music man. Unmasks Jeb and it's argsy. I like it. I've heard that story before somewhere, Scott. I feel that's not... That's not the first time that story's been told. Oh, congratulations, Fatra. It does it is a bit of a time sink in your house for sure. thousand litres leaves us with seven in the bag look at that it's exactly a thousand oh well nice little noise when all of those lids shut isn't it take care Mark all the best mate thanks for dropping by 
It's appreciated. Hello, Keith. More talked out after our little uh, environmental discussion earlier. Am I ready for Sunday's GP? Am I ever? Am I ever? What's the view? Ferrari. I want Ferrari to go out there and win it. I want a. Uh, I'm not fussed actually. I like. I like both uh, Carlos and. Uh, is it on? I like Carlos and Char Stahl. It's going to be good. First episode only, Derek. Magic music man. The magic of farm sim. Hello, Brandon. Thank you very much, mate. I appreciate it. That is very kind of you. And welcome. We're not a bad bunch in here. There's a little bit too much nonsense spoken sometimes, but there's a lot of common sense spoken as well. Thanks, Fat Trat. Yes, um, it's a riot pulling it together, I tell you. It's like a... I said to Args at the weekend, it's like I needed to find another way of uh, um, like finding even more time to fill my day. Do you have the EU placards on your equipment in GB? No, Keith, we don't actually. I don't know what our requirement is in the UK for uh, throwing placards off. Yeah, true, Derek. Yeah, that's when the that's where the silliness really kicks off. Usually driven by Mr. Junt and Mr. Argsy, amongst others. Yeah, I agree, Keith. I'm not a fan of them. I need another lockdown. I do. I do. Or I need you lot to watch more vids. And earn a bit more through YouTube. I'm going to quit the day job. There we go. Field done. Field done. And we're going to get the roller out now. Can we roll now we've got... Uh, or are we just... You can only roll once you've... Uh, before the crops come up. We've basically made a total hash of that field by skipping forward the time to avoid the rain. i become a millionaire and buy Jeb out. I'm pretty sure Jeb would have something to say about that. Am I doing all the on-offs on GPS with Sim? I'm not actually tonight, Derek, but I, I could and should be. I just forgot to switch it on before the... Uh, before the stream started, so... Uh, I'm just being lazy and using the keyboard again. Um, yeah, let's run down here, shall we? Let's get the edges done on this one. Turn that off for now. So yeah, I'm looking forward to Sunday's episode. I haven't recorded it yet, but I've got it all planned out, and I'm looking forward to it. Exactly, Derek. It's, it's uh, muscle memory now. Jeb could actually own the own. <laughs> Still yet to work out what Jeb owns. Not sure if he's important or he's not. It's very big for his boots, though. Needs to be brought down a notch or two, I think.
Hugh, how does Sim Dashboard with a PC? You just install it, Hugh. I'm assuming you're asking how it how how it works. You install a little piece of software on PC, and it um, it talks to the it, it gets the information from the game and passed it and passes it to uh, the tablet. question is what doesn't Jeb own or, or what doesn't Jeb think he owns or what hasn't Jeb swindled out of other people we just don't know that is the joy of a good stream FS22 big boss is that you can I think a lot of people sit and play farm sim and watch a stream at the same time I know I do John Paul, welcome mate, how's things? That's a good, that is a good Irish name, by the way. John Paul Healy, crikey. For a twist, Jeb could be the good guy in the end. Stranger things have happened. Uh, Timothy, I don't know when Hox's map's going to be released, mate. No, I know he's been testing it. Exactly, Hendrik. All the stuff we were crying out for. But Giants protecting their their, uh, their universal rating for all, which I I understand. You know, open it to the widest audience they can, which is which is understandable. And I think they knew the modders would come up with that stuff, wouldn't they? A lot of open ground in Wyoming. <laughs> a guy could find himself missing a jib really... Yeah. Things may take a sinister turn yet. Whether it's jib doing the sinisterness. Or uh, somebody else. We shall wait and see. No, I don't think so either. Derek, I agree. I think he's got previous. I think that's how he does business. <laughs> Jeez, I'm never getting on the wrong side of you, Nitro Dad. Jason Satan could get his cousin involved. It's like the hills have eyes. What was that? Was that a horror film? The hills have eyes, wasn't it? Oh, what are you doing? Well, that's not going to work, is it? Try that again. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll see, Scott. I'm. Uh, I'm quite enjoying coming up with it, letting the old uh, imagination run a bit wild. It's uh, it's good fun. And like I said at the start of the stream, just the response has been insane. Talk about kind of trying something new and uh, getting kind of positive feedback from it. It's been really nice. So uh, so that's good. And we notice our little troll, Mr. Granville, has gone very, very quiet all of a sudden. The people have voted with their views. His cousin Broken Legs, Arxy. <laughs> the heavy mob. Need a pig farm, yeah. Let's feed the remains to the piggies. Love it. You're all very dark, you lot. <laughs> I 
Well, like Junt was a uh, Junt was giving me a hard time the other day for my music choices. So maybe maybe there is a love story in there as well. I do own a lake, Ozzy. I do own a lake. You know, if somebody decides they want to go for a quick dip at midnight. Is that right? Is Wyoming a big mob stomping ground, is it? <laughs> I could marry Jeff. And we'd be driven I think we'd be driven out of town. I don't think they're uh, the most tolerant bunch. No, no floating deer on this map. Uh, Martin Marek uh, agreed, yes. Um, I think they giants say that it's a memory. It's a processing power memory. If you put too many in, it uh, puts extra load on the game. But actually, well, Nitro Dad's in here and he's done 32 angles on his uh, next map. And we were running it with no issues in um, in 19 on, on PC. So I think it's uh, I think it's something we'll see coming out very soon for sure. Don't know what to say to that, Hendrik. Instead, multi angles can't be done. I think they said we don't want to do multi-angle because it's too much like hard work. Sean, thank you very much. Yeah, I the the desk setup video is an interesting one because I did it in nineteen and uh, like a few people had asked, not loads, but a few people had asked, and when I put it up, it, it went the views went crazy on it. It's, it interests me that people are interested in somebody else's setup. Um. But some, you know, maybe if it, maybe if it gives people ideas for uh, for what they want to uh, do with their setup, um, that's cool. No, it's 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 nice. And I have to say, it's it's almost a second hobby. It's almost a second hobby is setting up the gadgets and all of that. So uh, yeah, no, I do quite enjoy it. I do quite enjoy it. I was talking too much about monitors the other day. In fact, it was a Monday night on um, on Twitch. I ended up talking about monitors, and I pretty much spent the last two days poring over uh, uh, poring over widescreen monitors on uh, on the old uh, websites of the last couple of days, using everything in my willpower to not spend more money. How was it setting up the joysticks? Really very easy, Keith. You just jump into the uh, the key bindings. Got to work out some of them, but uh, a, it's not super clear what does what in some of them. So there's a little bit of trial and error, but it doesn't take long. Oh, the the sim rig is brilliant, Derek. Honestly, it's it's. I've kind of made myself a rule because I wouldn't do it otherwise. Is uh, I'll shut up the old farm sim stuff at a point in the evening and then I'll uh, I'll spend an hour or so just ripping around a track. So sometimes I do it on my own on a time trial, sometimes I'll jump into a race. Um, but yeah, the force feedback on the, those Fanatec wheel bases is unbelievable. It is so good. Yeah, same here, Keith, but I think I could give her a run for her money. 
actually uh, it's funny now because obviously I make a little bit of cash from the YouTube stuff um, so it doesn't come out of the out of the of the family earnings so <laughs> she's like I can't even tell you off now for spending money and I'm like nope it's all mine I suppose I better uh, treat her every now and again though right The wheel, of uh, the wheel is, the wheel's a thing of beauty. Honestly, the quality build, it likes proper carbon fibre and proper rocker switches, all made of uh, machined aluminium and uh, carbon fibre. is glorious. Do I think Fanatec wheel pedals are overkill for farm sim? Um, the problem with the wheel is it's, it's, it just feels weird using a like a, an F1 style steering wheel for farm sim. I know you could probably buy the the WRC wheel. I think that's what um, that's what Ola Holdor's done. Uh, the guy who's the mod who's making um, Renabu map. He's got a brilliant. He's got a brilliant custom setup. He's he can angle his wheel so it's flatter, flatter for farm sim and ATS. And then when he wants to race, he angles it differently. Very clever. And the hobby makes a living to serve the exactly score. But yeah, fa uh, fa I've never seen qu the quality of uh, of gaming equipment like the Fanatec stuff. I mean, it's expensive, but man, it's it's worth every penny. It's it's gorgeous stuff. run all the way through the neighbour's uh, soybeans here. Should have harvested it by now really, shouldn't he? Do I think I'm near on the how-to videos? There's still too many. <laughs> to be honest, Sean, I think we're probably not a million miles off on the how-tos now for um, for course by the, the the dev has definitely settled a little bit. Hey, Rusty, how's it going, man? Nice to see you. Busy working day. Appreciate you dropping by, mate. Yeah, the second-hand market is good. I don't know where are you based, Sprue? We have a we have a great uh, we have a great second-hand um, shop network in the UK called CEX. I don't know if you have it in the states as well. Um, but you can pick up some good bargains there. Exactly, Rusty. So, if you haven't already voted for the farm sim dog name, one of the options is Rusty, and we're going to try and get it to be rusty so that uh, it's named after our favourite uh, farming simulator sheriff East Midlands, oh so you'll know CEX then Sprue you have to do a bit of shopping around sometimes, sometimes they're quite overpriced as well Well, I've got a G920 wheel. Ah, you see X, nice. I don't know why they've hidden that. Sprue. Like my typical rant about the G920 and an FS90, oh, FS22. No force feedback tonight. Just decides sometimes it doesn't want to do it. And I think I said in my, um, I think it was the desk tour. No criticism of the wheel. There's nothing wrong with the wheel. It's just there's something between G Hub and uh, FS22 that just is a bit temperamental at the moment. I think so, Args. Yeah. I think we all need to uh, vote for Rusty.
actually, I think we should vote for Rusty for president. Right, we're going to get about half of this field done before we need to fill up. I don't think we'll get 8% left already. Maybe. We'll get to the end of this pass. Not, not going to get any further. Right, let's go and fill up. That's true, Nitro Dad. <laughs> Pretty much anywhere in the Western world you could take your pick, right? Valley's Boy, I've got the G920. Oof, that sounds proper good. Right, folks, I think that is a nice juncture while we refill to um, maybe knock it on the head for tonight. But that was fun. Nice to drive the, the new custom modding series tractors they are beautiful and they'll be keep an eye open i wouldn't be surprised if you see them on their facebook page release for pc in the next couple of weeks if i'm being honest they're already in testing with giants so um i think we'll see them pretty quick um but um there we go um, so the G920 is made for Xbox um, used to have a lot of trouble turning force feedback off for FS19 but it can be done yeah I think it's actually just it's not supported game in G-Hub yet and they've said they're going to add it in as a, as a game but they haven't done it yet um. <laughs> yeah imagine Rusty sprinted down the road with a with a massive Philly cheesesteak in his uh, in his belly. Nice. Right, folks, there you go. Nice little. Well, let's go back and have a quick nosy at these uh, custom modding 8R series. Uh, so we had that one. We've got this one over here that everybody lush, loves. Yes, I saw that Arxy. I saw I saw DJ's vid the other day. Yeah, they've um, they've obviously spotted a gap in the market. Um, I'm surprised Logitech didn't uh, respond with a, an updated version of the the uh, farm the farm bundle for 22 as well. Actually, so uh, yeah, there's a there's a, an untapped market there for sure. Absolutely. Um, but yes, there we go, folks. Nice, uh, nice to see the custom modding tractors coming out. We'll jump over and just have a look at the other ones. Um, as always with custom modding, they are really nice really nice so uh, these will be out in the not too distant future I'm pretty sure I mean look at that crazy crazy detail all platforms as well so these are coming out to console as well which is nice which is why you see the non round wheels because they've had to reduce the quality to make them uh, work for console which is a little bit of a shame I would love to see them ramp that up to premium but I get I get why they're doing it they're making it for the masses which is admirable of them um, and it doesn't really doesn't really detract from the fact that they are absolutely stunning mods look there's the weights on the uh, there's those side weights that we applied before they're nice aren't they and look at the toolbox and things just lovely details all over them so uh, yeah keep an eye on their Facebook page over the next few days you will probably see these arriving but uh, Stunning work by the guys at Custom Modding, as we fully expect. And uh, there we go. I will see you all again very soon. Look forward to uh, catching up on uh, the chat 
when the next uh, episode of Elk Mountain comes out on Sunday. But uh, for now, for me, thanks as always, and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now. <laughs>